Hello, my homies. One smart cat doing some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I waited a couple of days to get this DLC for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The DLC is the new survivor uh, slash victim for the game. And that is this right here, Virginia. We're going to go a bit more in depth about her, what she's able to do and gameplay and all that here in a second. But starting off... I gave it a few days before I got on the DLC because everything with this DLC is absolutely shit. <laughs> there was supposed to be a new family member that was also supposed to come out with her. The new family member wasn't ready, so they pushed that back. If the new family member wasn't ready and got pushed back, I would want to know how the hell she was ready enough to be allowed out. And the reason I'm saying that is the first thing that I did whenever I got her is the first thing that I do with everybody which is try to open up their entire skill tree so I can figure out, you know, what I want to do with them, how I want to play them and all that stuff. Apparently, you can't open her whole skill tree. Apparently, she's messed up. So let's just go through some of the skill tree right now. We'll go this way. We'll go this way. And what happens here? You can no longer progress. You literally are now soft locked you can get all these obviously because they're still under it but as far as progressing for the rest of the skill tree you're done you can't move anymore so if you go this path if you go to the right this is all of the skill tree that you're going to get from her you don't get anything else that's absolutely ridiculous and it will go to respect come over here to the left it happens again we go this way, get a couple of these, get a couple of these, get a couple of these. And whenever you get here, this soft locks. So whatever's over here, you know, you're not going to be able to get any of that. But it's okay because you can still, you know, progress forward, right? So, I mean, that's a good thing. That is to say, until you get to right here where both of these soft lock so whatever's up here nah you don't get to do any of that so there's literally one path that you can use for her that will give you you know the amount of perks and the amount of um attribute points that you're supposed to get this is the only way coming up this way and then going up here if you do any other way you are shortchanging yourself you're not getting as many attribute points and you're not going all the way through the tree <laughs> that's absolutely fucking ridiculous like how in the hell are they charging people money for this that makes no sense so i just had to record that starting off because i haven't even played with her yet all i was doing was opening the skill tree and i saw this bullshit and i just i had to record it before i do anything else so let me go through this skill tree that I can, play a few games with her, get her leveled up, and then we'll see how good she can be at the moment, even though she's completely fucking broken. All right, I'll be back. All right, so it is two hours later since I did that little cut. And in two hours, I have decided that I'm pretty much not going to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre anymore. <laughs> so, all right, look, this is what's going on. The first thing I'll say is in that span of two hours, I played like four games. Like I was looking for games that entire time and just sitting in lobbies. That's the first thing I'm going to say, which isn't a huge thing because like, you know, lack of a player base is whatever. Like I play a bunch of other games. I don't have a great player base. I understand that but when it comes to a game like this where it's going to take you 20 minutes to find a game and then completely depending on your team and the opponent's team you could be dead in 30 seconds so you know that's honestly not even my biggest gripe that's just whatever let me just point out i've been playing texas chainsaw massacre since the beginning like literally all of my best videos my top viewed videos are my Texas Chainsaw Massacre builds. You know, I did builds with pretty much everybody. So I've been playing this game for a bit. 
and I do legitimately enjoy it, but it is so shit right now. It is, it is just such a horribly ran game. In that two hour span of me waiting for my games, I was looking up the stuff with Virginia's perks. If it was just a bug or if it was something that everybody was doing, like, you know, what was wrong with it? No, it's legitimately broken. You know, this character got released with being able to pretty much go one way through their perk tree. And as I was looking through stuff, I came across this from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, Twitter thing. It says, we wanted to give an update about the issue with Virginia's skill tree and her cosmetics. This alongside other fixes are being worked on for a future patch scheduled for 4-16-24. Depending on the day that this comes out and that you're watching it and all that, this is 13 days from now. 13 days from now, they are going to fix a piece of DLC, a piece of paid DLC that they released and is utterly broken. You do not have access to all the things you're supposed to have access with here. That's honestly completely fucking ridiculous. So on top of all of this, you know what? I'm still going to do gameplay. I'm still going to, you know, work out a build with her just like I did with everybody else. You know, I'm going to go through her perks. I'm going to work out a build and I'm going to level her all the way up. That way I have all this stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. For two reasons. Number one, four matches in two hours is going to take me forever to level these things up because these things take forever to level up, like in general. And the way that my match went that I'm about to show you kind of left a pretty bitter taste in my mouth, <laughs> to honestly tell you the truth. So I'm going to show you this build and I'm going to tell you why this is the build that I'd be using considering remember that we only have one way to go up the perk tree this is one of her unique perks whenever you're 80% above health any victims around you including you take 20% less damage as this levels up it's a wider and wider range so as long as you're above 80 health you're going to take 20% less damage not too bad extra dip whenever you use a health item you will continue to receive 2 HP for 8 seconds. This goes all the way up to 6 HP for 12 seconds, which basically means you'll always be above 80% health. You know, that way your little thing over here works. And then last but not least, stunt double, which makes it so that whenever you dive down through one of the wells, you take 30% damage. This is just something that always happens, which is really good. And that goes all the way up to 70% less damage, which is honestly pretty damn, pretty damn good. You can see the attributes beneath right here. And I'm not even going to tell you what I'm going to do with this because I'm not going to do it. Going from a game that I actively liked covering to a game that I no longer want to play anymore in two hours is insane. I honestly wish I could refund this DLC. They, they should refund this DLC to everybody that got it because it's it's honestly a dog shit. So check out the match. The match was pretty damn good. There was some very tense moments and you'll see where I got annoyed. <laughs> Let's jump into the match. All right. So we're in the slaughterhouse. Let's say fuck it and just get the hell out of here. There is a leather face. A sissy. I don't remember who the last one was. It's either the Trapper or Johnny. I can't remember. So I used to play a lot of sissy. So I know where the powders are. Needing to pick up your power is interesting but I mean it makes sense because you know she's not like strung up with the powder on her so it's a it's kind of sucks having to ooh, come here to get caught somebody did already get caught and grandpa's awake
grab a couple of tools, get my power, try to get out of here. Did they open up over here? Where did they open up? I think I can use that. As long as I'm at 80% health, then everybody else will take 20% less damage. Did she see me? Okay, so she has the poison on her weapon. Good to know. down here let's get the fuck out of here I'm bleeding pretty bad. all right this should take us back to full health especially with our perks here a chainsaw somewhere that's not nice ran straight into that all right let's get my power should be powder over here Please don't see me, please. Shut up, chicken. Each one of these gives me two charges, so that's good. Contaminate that. Go back around over here. Is there a bone thing right here? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, he opened up the back over there. Oh, I need to get out. oh, poisoning the blood only takes up a quarter? Ah, okay. That's interesting. coming over here sneaky sneaky I was gonna powder him, but then I I don't know what I would have done after that.
You sons of bitches. I have to go back down. Oh, the basement's open. Ah! That perk saved me. The damage perk. I don't remember where the basement is. Oh, yes, I do. It's this way. Tired. I'm not gonna make it. I think I'm done with this game. <laughs> oh, Jesse, That's fucking bullshit, man. Like, it's hard enough. It's been two hours. I've gotten like four games. Like, it's hard enough to fucking play this game. And then... You have body blocks and shit like that. Oh God. Oh, this hurts so bad. I think I'm done. I would have gotten out if it wasn't for the body block. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right. That is it. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, it kind of took a turn. <laughs> Whenever I first started recording this video, I was uh, in a much better mood. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean I don't know what else to say uh, they really really fucked up this game um, I can't wait for Killer Clowns to come out hopefully that game is better there's a mod coming out that's basically redoing Friday the 13th you know I'll be jumping on that I still do Puppet Master I still do Dead by Daylight and I mean for the foreseeable future this is it for Texas Chainsaw Massacre for me. It's just not worth it. <laughs> it's not. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I see you in another one of my videos and we. <laughs>